Oh, and he was stuck. Stuck. He just flew. He just fell out of a tree. He's like got that tail up. He's like, I'm gonna get you. Man. Everyone, today we're in the fjordlands of New Zealand, which is um, the, in the Southland area on the South Island. And we are going to hike the Kepler track. It's a 60 kilometer loop track that usually takes about three to four days. We're turning it into a five day track. Today's track is a pretty easy hour and a half, two hours up to our first campsite. So we're not even starting until one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, but hey, that suits us. <laughs> That's right. All right, we'll see you on the trail. Kepler track. And so it begins. Thank you for this lovely, lovely day. This is our actual first five day hike. The result of this is Mary and I are packing heavier today than we have. We did bring five days worth of food. We also have campsite hut, campsite hut. So this is one of the more expensive of the hikes that we've been on so far. We're just just gorgeous. It looks like a tree fell along our route. So a little bit of damage from the strong winds. Nothing major, unlike the other tracks. Very gorgeous. Day one, it was only a flight about an hour and a half to get here. We did an hour and 35 minutes of actual walking and six and a half kilometers. We actually scaled 54 meters today. 54. 54. Oh my 54. God. But we're sitting um, at Broad Bay campsite and Lake Teanu is behind us and it's just beautiful. We thought we would uh, give you the view that we're so enjoying getting ready to start day two out here on the Kepler track. It was a really um, an interesting evening. Had little mice running around everywhere and the uh, waves near the shore just kept lapping very aggressively. So we did get some sleep but it wasn't totally undisturbed. Sunshine so hopefully it'll remain nice and sunny throughout our walk. We'll just kind of see how it goes. We're on our way up to the Luxmore hut so we're not scaling the entire mountain just half of the mountain this morning. Mm -hmm. A little and, over half. A little mm -hmm. over half and uh, hopefully that will give us a beautiful view up there and maybe we'll get to hunt some caves and spelunk and then we'll cross over tomorrow. That's right. So we have four hours and 30 minutes to the Luxmore hut. Maybe about halfway up right now, yeah. but uh, we got a peak down below. Can just show you what it looks like? Oh wow, it's very vertical. Crazy, crazy. We have stairs. Stairs. Wow, look at that view. Incredible. I found a worm. We should go fishing. That's the first worm I think I've ever seen here. We're gonna help him I'm out soon. because he does not want to get tramped on. You saved a worm today. I saved a worm. Coming out of the bush line. We're greeted with this gorgeous view. Wow. Incredible. This this is why we hike them. We for views like this. It this is, is beautiful. Look at by this day. far the best hut we've been in. But we're gonna try to top it off with a walk through the Luxmore Cave. Oh, they tricked us with stairs. They said 10 minutes. So we went into the cave and it was pretty slick along the sides. We should have taken the route down through the water itself because it wasn't nearly as as slick as the sides were. I was having a hard time seeing. I couldn't figure it out. It was like, is my headlamp on? 
and is it on bright and he's like yeah yeah and so I was like I just can't really see much of anything so I'm, I'm agreeing let's just leave and I got outside discovered I had my sunglasses on the entire time this is the view near the Luxmore hut so if you if you do it the opposite this is what you're greeted with after you summit just beautiful what a lovely lovely day just simply incredible I'm gonna spin around and see what I'm looking at here isn't that amazing it's just gorgeous back there we were told that this is a spectacular place and haven't been disappointed good morning everybody starting day three on our hike today yep so we stayed last night in the luxmore hut very right luxurious <laughs> and more it actually was the most <laughs> luxurious that we have stayed in flush toilets i mean inside yeah, really. crazy so we have about five hours to the iris burn campsite where we're going to see more kias and hope that they don't tear our tent up. All right. So this morning is all up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, and then down, 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 down. All right, we'll see you on the trail. Sometimes I can't believe we're here. I can't believe that there's such gorgeous things in this world. Remember what's important in life those adventures while you can. A little emergency shelter. We should get stuck in the winter up here. It feels like the winter up here. <laughs> Yeah, this is the New Zealand I was expecting. Uh, approaching the bush line. of camp supposedly and it's been a long day it was the the climb was fine no problem it's the the descent it's a killer so that was just a lot of descent we should be coming up to the camp and get our tent set up and be able to just rest looking forward to that
or we're leaving the falls uh, near the Iris Burn Hut and campground. We're staying in the campground tonight. What do you think of the falls? The falls are beautiful. So now we have a 20 minute, 20 minute, which is to us more like 30 minute walk back to our campground. Ah, what a beautiful morning. But we sustained a little bit of damage last night. A little hole right here. A larger hole right there. A little tiny hole here. And what did it? Kia's. Time to clean up and hit the, hit the trail. Welcome to day three. What a night. What a night. <laughs> Very restless night full of wild birds snagging our tent. Yeah, they, were, they attacked our camp last night and uh, some people didn't fare as well as we did. We only had three holes. People lost wallets, passports, food, trash. One guy got his uh, sleeping bag ripped. Another one lost his mattress. So the only thing I'm thinking about right now is what does roast Kia taste like? <laughs> <laughs> but today we have about six hours and uh, we lose about 750 meters in um, elevation. So that shouldn't be too bad, Not right? too bad. So we'll see how today fares. Off we go. See you on the trail. Big step. Okay. It was a good walk. It was. Four hours and 40 minutes of walking. But what's really cool is we're staring at a beautiful mountain. The walk was a nice pace. Today's, it was, it was very nice. It kind of started along, walked along a stream, and then uh, walked up to the ridge line, but it wasn't a very high ridge line by any means. And then um, just kind of like walked along it and then it came back down and walked along the lake. And this wow, is just beautiful. Really by far my favorite walk so far. Yeah, I, I have to agree. This is my, my favorite walk so far too. Yay, Kepler. Good morning, fellow New Zealand trampers. We're on day five, five of our Kepler track. And we are at Lake Manipur. It's supposed to hit 22 degrees Celsius today, so we're going to lose the jacket really quick on the walk. We've got about four hours up to the car park this morning. It's pretty flat today. I think we only lose like 50 meters the entire way, so it shouldn't be anything. Oh, yeah, sandflies. Sandflies sand are everywhere here, so make sure you bring the insect repellent. Ugh. Oh. All right, see you on the trail. All right, we're going to Shallow Bay Hut, 15 minutes. Take a look at the view. The geese say, Go away. Uh, yeah, I think that's what, that was it. <laughs> All right, it's a little prettier. I'm 
don't think you want to fall into that river. That water is just... Glad we're not in a canoe here. This, Whee! <laughs> this would not have been a fun canoe ride. It is running fast. Too fast. Two kilometers left. We're in this uh, old forest near the river. I love uh, areas of track like this where it's kind of just a gentle up and down here and there. Nothing crazy at the end of the track anyway. It's, we're approaching 60 kilometers and feeling every single one of them, unfortunately. Yeah, now we have a tree. Oh. Oh. I went under. I went under. I went over. <laughs> we are at the control gate. Car parker's right over there. It's the end of the line for the Kepler track. Just incredible. Incredible walk. Loved it. The view's spectacular. Spectacular. It makes us want to spend some more time in the area, see what else is around. Well, that's it for this great walk. Thank you, Kepler Track. Thank you, New Zealand. Thank you, beautiful weather. Thanks, God. Thanks, friends, for all your support in doing this. Safe travels, everyone, and enjoy your life. Remember to find your dream and own it. Take care. You know what they're going to use this for? A bench. Timber! Oh, shire. Waves near the shore just kept lapping very aggressively. They were lapping at us. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, a kiwi, something like that out here. Have, Have you heard? Oh, me. The bird's the word? Oh. Bird, 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 bird's the word. Well, bird, bird, bird's the word. Your husband. Couldn't ask for more, right? Could not ask for more. Gorgeous. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're on the top of the world looking down on the fjord land and the only explanation I can find is the trail that you found has taken us from the ground and put us on the top of the world. I went under. I went over. What's the over under on the trail? <laughs>